Hey, we're back, and today we're going to talk attic stairs and uh, find out an easier way to get up than to kind of weasel your way through that little scuttle hole in the closet. So we'll be back right after this. Here I come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. Hey, we're going to talk about attic stairs today. And uh, before we get to that, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the bells. And uh, if you're gonna leave us a note, go ahead and leave those down below also, and we'll get back to you. And if you wanna sign up for the newsletter, just go to mightyhouse.net and uh, sign up for the newsletter there, contact us page, and uh, we'll get you into the newsletter. So that That's has right. a lot of cool stuff in there, and we've got stuff here that we try to give away well. on and off, and so, you know, you never know what you're gonna find on the newsletter. That's so, links to all our stuff. There you go, so out of the box, there you go, right there. there See go. how my finger was like, boom, it was right there. If your ceiling right looks like box. this, you're <laughs> right in the box. And that's your attic staircase right there, or that's how you get in no. and out of the well, attic. Just... just push that mm. panel up through there. Yeah, no. Um, hey, whoa, what happened to your arm, dude? That's got to hurt. In the attic. <laughs> <laughs> I went in the attic. <laughs> Um, so if you, if so that's your is, typical, that's just a typical attic access. Right. And it usually has a piece of half inch drywall that sits down in there. And that's, that's your insulation. That's your air barrier. That's everything. So that's yes. the normal access. But if you want to open that up and actually get in there and start using the attic space for storage, uh, then, then you need Which to put I, a, 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 you can put a, a staircase in there, a pull down staircase. And don't recommend using attic space, typical attic space for storage. Correct. And we can get into that in a minute here. What do you got for the next one there? Boom. So you could do like this, a little ladder that goes up through the hole, and that and that looks like it could tip. It would be fun trying to squeeze through there. So. Well, not only you got to carry that ladder up probably your stairs yep. and, then, and then put it up there. Yep, yep, yep. So then, yeah, but it's still a thing. Right. So there's your conventional... Uh, staircase. The, yeah. la the legs fold up. It slides up into this into the attic, and it's it's gone. So, but the, and the problem with those is the height limitations. Those are very hard to find. That'll go over ten feet. Correct. Yeah, they're anywhere from you know, eight so, foot to ten foot. Yeah. Right. So they fold up like that. They they slide away real nice, and it, it's a pretty mm -hmm. fairly clean look. And this is not one. It's an insulated backup. Go oh, go. You're going too fast there, Sonar. But uh, there you go. See that that's not an insulated door, so that's a quarter inch plywood no. that's that's protecting keeping the heat in the house or the the AC in the house and preventing it from escaping. So you can Which buy is one. why you should always do an unvented roof structure and then you won't have to worry about it. Right. And if you're or you could do an insulated door, that helps. We've got some other mm -hmm. stuff to show you there towards the end also. Um, but these, uh, this standard width, you're gonna get twenty two inches to twenty five inches wide. And then they make them 54 inches long, which is from here to here. That's a 54, or you can get, they have 14 and a half ones, but again, that's barely enough to get through. So um, they, this is your standard, 22 by 25, 25 by uh, yes. 54 is a standard one. Yeah, getting through 14 and a half has passed us a yeah. while ago. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> is that just like a rope you just pull right. and it just comes down? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. No, it's standard framing, 16-inch centers, leaves you a 14-and-a-half-inch hole. Right. Tw a standard trusses are 24-inch on center, leaves you a 22-and-a-half-inch hole. 22-and-a-half is still doable. Sure. 14-and-a-half went bye-bye a long time ago. Yeah, yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> a couple kegs ago. So. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, so... Sometimes you have to reframe your opening uh, to get these in there correctly. So make sure you header them off, mm -hmm. and we could do a separate one on how to header these off. But go ahead and flip to the next picture there. So that's what you're looking at from the uh, from the attic side, and so you'd end up reframing that opening so that you can get the staircase in there. I think that guy's stuck in the attic trying to figure out how to push that thing down. To right. Get out. <laughs> Hey, let me out. Let me out. Somebody pulled the rope. I can't push the thing down far enough. It keeps springing back. <laughs> and and the, these, you, the, the standard wood ones are 250. There's 300 pounders. Um, I would yeah. suggest going for the 300 pounders because if you're carrying a heavy box. Why would you suggest that? I have no idea. So the, the, the smaller ones, you get on them and then they start doing this underneath you. And if you've got your sea legs, it's okay. But, you know, mm. um, it's... I, and those I like are fairly to... inexpensive. Yes, yes. I mean, they're, you know, anywhere from really 150 to 250 bucks. I mean, Correct. they're not crazy expensive. 
Correct. And I believe they make them in metal too, don't they? There, uh, sonar. Yeah, yeah. the oh, price goes up. See? Price goes up on the metal. Yeah, a little bit. But now that very... is that an insulated. Yeah, but have... I can't tell. Yeah. Is that an it's one inch thick. Yeah. Okay. So there's an insulated door, and R five. Um, <laughs> this is going to be sturdier, and and uh, so when you're going up and down, it'll it'll feel a little sturdier. If you're not if, if you're afraid of heights, you get up on that first level and, and you're afraid of heights, uh, you might want to go with something a little sturdier, heavier duty like that. So, um, okay, so that's metal, wood, and then... Aluminium. Aluminium, I'm sorry. That's yeah. aluminium, that one there. All right. So then what do we got next there, Sonar? So, okay, railings. So the fancier ones, you can get them with railings, and there's another one with an insulated door. But, again, if you're... A little uh, unsure uh, and unsure-footed, get one with a railing, and th that'll help mm -hmm. you get up and down. And sometimes, it'll, if you're sliding a box on there too, you can put the box on there and slide it up against the railing, and then the railing's a guide to push it up and get mm -hmm. it in the hole. Well, what if I don't really want to hold on to the box? What if I just want to make it maybe say osmosis go up in the attic? <laughs> we can show you that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> it won't be next, but it you know I, I got something for you on that one too. <laughs> Thought I timed it right. No. <laughs> No. All no. right, Sonar, help me out. <laughs> so then you can go to these heavier-duty, really fancy ones here. This, these are the rainbow uh, mm -hmm. attic stairs, and these are really nice. Insulated door. The stairs uh, it has railings on it, and the steps unfold and uh, accordion out. Really stable. I like putting these in. I think the last one I put in, it was like 800 bucks, though. So they're, they're Except that one doesn't. That one only goes to 11.6. Oh yes, yes. So, uh, but you get you take the you take the, the feet apart and they adjust up and down. So you just take off the the rungs that you don't want, so that that way it, it works out and comes out correctly. And, no, I have the opposite problem. I need to add rungs. Oh, you need to add have more bolted. I need one. We constantly need them for twelve foot plus. Got it. And Rainbow makes one. It's their F series. Okay. No. MSRP is two grand. Yes. Yeah, they're not for cheap. For an attic stair. Right. They're not cheap, but they're really sturdy. They're really a nice, really well built. Yeah, and so. you don't have to have that step stool that's that's in the hallway too to give you that extra couple feet right. to get up there. No. Yes, that's exactly it. So um, there you go. So these unfold. They, they're really nice. Uh, they, again, they come with railings. Those are other options that you can do. And... Um, you know they're sturdy, so it's it's a it's a good option. So no, the rainbow we use those quite a bit. Yeah, because obviously where I build, we do a lot of ten to fourteen foot ceilings. Right. And when I need access to them, typically we buy a lot of we buy a lot of rainbow stair actually. Right. And if you if you have your HVAC equipment in the attic and you're doing something <laughs> like that, you you want something heavy duty because you, you know you're carrying tools up and down through there. Uh, getting equipment up and down. So those stairs, you can't go with a 250-pound wood ladder. Mm -hmm. It's it's just not going to make it. So no. that, that's where you want to do it. So then there's these really ones. These are the ones I thought you were going to be installing. This un un no. comes down with a push of a button. These are all motorized. So Yeah, but my clients <laughs> aren't going in the <laughs> attic. Their service people are. <laughs> But they could go up there because this slides down. It's all one piece. There's no folding. And uh, show us the next there shot there, Sonar. The thing practically looks like an escalator. It, it, it pretty much is. See, look at that. So you got a nice right. railing around the top. You don't have to worry about falling in. You've got, here's the lift. And then this goes back to um, a, uh, a winch that actually pulls the ladder up and down. So that, that way the ladder comes up. It slides back over it into here. And then it comes up and... Seals into it the makes a little recess landing and everything for you. Yeah, no, it, it all lays in there. So they, give us the next shot. See, there it is. So there's the straight ladder down. It's got railings. And What's that yellow thing say? Watch your step. Mind yeah. thy head. Yeah, I uh, do oh. not store items in this bay. Right. Okay. Because it, it actually slides up towards us as you're looking at it. Right. There. Right. Um, so it, it'll slide up and then it goes and fills in the in so the it'll space crush above. Crush your Chris, Christmas ornaments. Yes. <laughs> Yes, exactly. So those cost more than a dollar, I bet. Uh, yeah, they're a couple tree dollars, I think. So, yeah, somewhere in there. 
And then I think the last one, now go ahead and ask that lift question again. No, well, that one, I said that's, I, that's what I thought we were going to, as I thought you had a couple there that showed the actual lift, but yes. So yes, that is an attic hoist or an attic lift. Yes. Which would be a secondary, like you don't take yourself up and down on that. Well, no, but I'm sure you can put the kids on there. And, yeah, and that's, run that's the recommended use. It probably even has a thing that says don't put your kids on this. But that said, you know, if you got to get those golf bags up and down. Sure. Sure. Yeah. You got instead you know, of, you know, going up and down the stairs, then you just put them on the attic hoist. Right. That's all the rubber made totes go on there with all the all the junk that you've got in there, all your camping gear that you're gonna store because you're not going camping for a while. So then like all that stuff gets loaded on there and you just uh, lift it up in there. And again, this has a insulated door on the bottom. So once it's in the closed position like this, it's got an insulated door. You don't have to worry about the heat loss. And uh, now you have access to all your, your gear and you don't have to carry that up and down. So nice. And these come in a bunch of different sizes and, and stuff like that. So you, if you do a quick search on the internet, you'll find a bunch of different companies that make those. So those are pretty cool. And then the last thing I think we need to talk about is air sealing and insulating. So these are great to air seal and insulate your attic staircase. They, mm -hmm. they just go right around the perimeter. And if you, if you ever hit these with a thermal gun during the winter, you can see the amount of heat loss that is going through these uh, staircases. So if you put these on, these insulated uh, doors, they zip shut, they, they're really nice, they're tight. So now you have a lot less heat loss. And now this is, even though this isn't very, well insulated it is um it stops the stack effect it's not an r value it stops a stack effect and you've got you've got that air pocket just sitting in there that air pocket then becomes part of the insulation so mm -hmm. they they work really well and you can also build them by hand out of some two inch foam so if you're blowing in insulation and you've got 18 inches of blown in around in your attic you can build a curb on the side like this with two inch foam just build it all four sides and then make yourself a top out of it so this is a pre-made one, but you know you can make them out of two-inch foam that you just buy at the uh, big box store. And that blown insulation is that the reason that you don't want to store things up there? Right. So we can go into for the most part. If if your trusses if your trusses were not designed to be laid out that way generally, you know, uh, if if you've just got a a uh, track home and it was you didn't custom build your home. You can design the trusses to carry that load if you want to do that. But in reality, most cases, they are not designed to have but even stuff most, stored up there. Right. But even most stick-framed homes, you have two-by-six ceiling joists, right. which are only designed for a 20-pound live load or a dead load. And by putting stuff up there, you're well surpassing what they're actually designed for. Correct. So you've got two issues. Yes, your ceilings start bowing because you got too much weight over them. But again, your upside right sonar, um, you know, the current codes are 48. I got 18 inches of blown in on five. Uh, so your two by sixes are here at five and a half. Right. You got insulation to here. When you compress that with plywood to store stuff, it now becomes conductive and right. it's no longer insulation. <laughs> sure. So, you know, that's where it's just hard. You know, if your house isn't designed for it, don't do it. Right. Right. And you can you can uh, ask an architect, structural engineer. They can come out and take a look at it. And, uh, and actually give you that advice ahead of time if you're really worried about it. So uh, mm -hmm. it's one, one good way to do it. So well, heck, and you can save some money on buying a cheaper ladder, too. You don't have to go <laughs> up there all the time. That's right. <laughs> right. Well, that's it. There's very little reason to go into your attic. Yep. So like the very first picture, the attic access, is really more fire department access. And, you know, you're required to have an opening, you know, a minimum of 20 by 34 uh, and it's so a fireman can climb up there with his gear on and yep. check the attic or to ventilate it. That's all that hole is for. Right. Not that a fireman ever goes up that hole. He just no. gets on the roof, cuts a hole. Right. They get the chainsaw out. And... First thing they do, <laughs> ventilate the, ventilate it, you know, just cut a right. hole in the roof. Yeah, it is wacky. But it's a basement up. fire. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> But if you need to get in there to do electrical work, or you, again, like I was saying earlier, HVAC equipment's up there, having a scuttle hole like this to try and get through is difficult. You're better off having something like this, easy access right. to get, uh, so the service guys can get up there and, and get you squared away. So um, with that, I think uh, if you've got any questions, you can leave those below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, 
We'll be back next week with something new, I think. I'm, who knows what it is. So. Put them in the cup. Oh, put them in the cup right here. This cup or your Question, cup? Yeah, the question's in the cup. Qu okay, question's in the cup. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Sponsor and be here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. So you, you still got that down. That's good. So, all right, we'll be back right. next week with a new topic. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'll talk gardening or something. That's mm. may, maybe. Well, that might maybe. be a few weeks. What, do you, what is it, Sonar? Do you know? Oh, I don't know. I, well, I'll I'll say, we don't know. Wheel. We don't know. We just <laughs> spin, it's in spin the, the wheel. <laughs> we spin the topic wheel, and then we walk in here and do something. There you go. All right, so until uh, next week, Rich, go ahead and say it. Keep it square and level until... Until next, next time. Until next time. There you go. Next week, next time, next month. Yeah, whatever. The wheel of topics. Right. I like that. <laughs> and it's not like we haven't been doing it for 14 years either. <laughs> no. We have plenty of topics. Yeah.